My name is Ibrahim Gambari, currently um, Chief of Staff to President Muhammad Buhari uh, of Nigeria. I'm here at the USIP uh, to continue the kind of conversation that we often have on U.S.-African relationship, U.S.-Nigerian relationship, and the issues of uh, uh, mutual interest and, and concerns between uh, the United States and, and Nigeria, in particular, and Africa in general. Well, first he has uh, instructed uh, all the security agencies in uh, the country to ensure that they provide um, a, a climate conducive to the exercise of the right of people to vote, whoever it is that they want to be elected. And he has shown this uh, when in Anambra, which is one of the in the southeastern states of Nigeria, where there's been a lot of violence, uh, he, he made sure that that happened. Uh, and the security forces, they are quite large, about 35,000. Uh, we will told them you, you are not to intimidate voters, but to create a climate condition for them to exercise their right to vote. He intends to do the same in the general election, which is to make sure that there's enough security for people to um, uh, exercise their right to vote. Uh, but it's also counting on civil society organization, elders uh, in the country, and the political party leaders and candidates uh, to also be responsible and, and talk to their supporters, particularly the candidates and the leaders, to say that what is important is pre and fair process and to accept the results, uh, uh, whatever they may be, and if they have issues with the result, to go to the court, as he did, because he was ran for president 2003, 2007, 2011. Uh, and lost, went to the Supreme Court, and it's only in the fourth attempt before he was elected in 2015 and re-elected in 2019. So leadership by example in, in the kind of outcome that he's recommending for Nigeria. By engaging the candidates, by engaging civil society, and by um, kind of advising um, privately. Uh, this is uh, election by Nigerians for Nigerians, but the outcome, one way or the other, has impact not only in Nigeria, in West Africa, in Africa, and even globally. And also, if need be, uh, to issue at an appropriate time some statement of support for a, uh, for a peaceful process. And I think in some cases, some of the um, Western countries have also uh, issued um, uh, uh, threats that whoever it is that consciously obstructs the free exercise of votes uh, by Nigerians uh, will have um, visa. Uh, not they will not find it easy to get visa to come to this country. So um, um, carrot sticks, but but always conscious of lining behind uh, um, uh, those in Nigeria uh, who are counselling the same. Well, um, uh, ordinarily, people look at the legacy of uh, President Buhari as in terms of physical infrastructural development, which has been neglected over the years. Uh, railroads, um, roads, major highway, Lagos, Ibadan, um, Abuja to Kano, the second Niger Bridge, which has been in the, in the, in the planning for, for decades, he made it uh, possible, St um, strides in improving the power situation in the country. but. Uh, but the less tangible, but not less real, is his commitment to free and fair election. I think that will be his biggest legacy. And also the fight against corruption, which he honestly believes that if we don't kill corruption, corruption might kill Nigeria. So those are the two major or three major legacies. Now, in terms of um, the advice that he will give to his successor, he hopes his successor will build on the uh, legacies build on the enormous uh, progress made under his administration and do better, particularly tackling the issue of youth unemployment and, uh, and the issue of security, which are really um, the principal 
uh, goals and objectives of state policy and above all doing everything possible to keep the country together in peace so that development can occur and the people can also enjoy the right to choose the leader uh, that they may wish. Thank you.